When it comes to diabetes, early intervention is the key to stopping the disease. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker shows us how the Texas Diabetes Institute educates and treats diabetics so they can live a longer and healthier life. I was on the other kind of insulin, but it wasn't working too good. That's one of the reasons why Alice Ortiz, who is a type 2 diabetic, has been coming to the Texas Diabetes Institute since 1990. They got her blood sugar under control. Since I've been like that, I've been like that all the time. Some early symptoms of type 2 diabetes include increased thirst and hunger, feeling very tired, blurry vision, slow healing of cuts and wounds, and tingling, numbness, or pain in the hands or feet. Ortiz says her aunt was diabetic and lost her eyesight. My aunt couldn't see anymore, so she kept eating pies, cookies, and everything. And then she died a long time ago. So I took after her. Dr. Alberto Chavez, an endocrinologist at the Texas Diabetes Institute within the University Health System, helped get Ortiz on the right track with the right medication. When we have victims and I was here, it changed my life. What dose are you using right now? 18. You, you lower the dose to 18? It's going to be like a team effort. It's going to be a combination of many factors. There's not like a single, a one specific thing that is going to take care of everything. Those factors include medication, a healthy diet, regular exercise, support from friends and family, and the right physicians. That's why Ortiz stresses to anyone who may be diabetic to wear that gown and see the specialists at the Texas Diabetes Institute to get their health under control. I want them to come down here and see these doctors because they need the doctors here. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. For more information about family health, call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of the Wear the Gown stories. Just head to wearthegown.com.